Hi, second grade, happy Friday. Today we're going to talk about graphing. Now, graphing isn't really new to us. We've worked with graphs back in the classroom. We've worked um, with graphs, graphs in virtual learning. If you remember the probability, the Skittle probability experiment or activity we did a couple weeks ago, we talked about tally mark graphs and bar graphs and pictographs. And um, so graphing isn't new to us, but it is still important to us. Um, we're actually currently working on a new graph with our plants, which we're going to talk about today. But that's not the only thing we're going to talk about. We are going to talk about data today and the importance of collecting good data for your graphs um, and how to make sure that your data is accurate and um, your graph is correct. We're going to um, talk about our graph and then we're going to talk about um, our plants and we're going to measure our plants and then we're going to put that information back into our graph or should I say graphs because we're going to talk about two different ones um, that you have in your packet. So a lot to do. A lot to graph and I'm excited to get started so let's go all right friends so first things first is data data is all the information that we put in our graph and it's important important excuse me to have real data or true data so it's important you know how to collect your data so with our plant graphs we're collecting data by measuring how tall our graph gets or our graph silly miss Williams how tall our plant is um, growing so that data has to be collected the same way every single time you measure a plant. Now we're measuring quite a few plants. If you see our, my graphs up there, we are measuring five plants. And in order for us um, to talk about the data and for it to be valid data or true data, we have to make sure we're measuring the same way. Remember when you have your roller, you're not stabbing it into the soil. Um, you're doing it the same way. Every time you measure, it's uniform. Um, also, being very careful that you don't mess up your measurements, our tomato plant was also, was already over a foot. So remember, we had to measure the foot and then put our finger there as a marker and move the ruler up um, to and then add the inches to figure out how tall it was because it was already over 12 inches over a foot. So um, making sure when that happens that you're being careful, that you're not making mistakes. And that's because if you make mistakes or if you measure them differently, you're graph numbers won't be valid, meaning that they won't be true. So then when you go and compare them, um, their comparisons won't exactly be correct because maybe the, the mint plant is an inch taller than you measured it. And when you're comparing it to the basil plant, you can see that it's taller, but for some reason your numbers are off and that's because you didn't measure them the same way. Um, that's why we use tools to help us measure like rulers or tape measures. Um, and that's why collecting data is so important and doing it correctly and taking your time um, is extremely important. Um, then you take all this solid data, all this great data that you worked really hard in collecting and you did the same and you put it in your graph. Now the purpose, and I've said it I think a million times, for graphing is to make data easy to look at, easy to read, and easy to compare. Our um, graph up there, you glance at it and you can say, hey, on day one, this is how tall the basil plant was. Or hey, on day five, when we get there, this is how tall the tomato plant was. And then you can compare them super easily. You can compare day one and day five just by looking at the tomato column. Or you can compare day five of the tomato to day five of the pepper just by looking at different boxes. So it um, when you collect good data and you make a graph or a chart, super easy um, to compare and to analyze all your information. So with that, I'm super excited to see how much our plants grew. So without further ado, let's go measure. All right, second grade, let's get start, um, started measuring our plants. Um, before we begin, I did repot them. So they're all in different pots and you've last seen them. Um, so that's exciting, um, but they are the same plants. So let's begin. We are going to start with our mint plant. So here is our mint plant. Here's its cool little pot. So we're gonna go ahead and measure it. So remember, we're not sticking our ruler down into the soil deep. We are measuring it to the tallest point. And it looks, if you can see, it's right in between seven and eight. 
but we're measuring it to the nearest inch. So I'm gonna say that this is eight inches. Our mint plant, it smells delicious, is eight inches. Let's go ahead and look at another plant. Let's go ahead and look at our basil plant. So here's our bunch of basil, measuring the same way I did with the mint plant. And very similar to our mint plant, it's right in between four and five. So we're gonna round up and go five inches. So our, mint, or our basil plant is five inches. Here is our oregano. second grade if you can take a look it appears that our oregano is 10 inches 10 inches is we're getting pretty close to a foot over here with our oregano plant let's take a look at our bigger plants now all right well here's our pepper plant I'm gonna put a ruler in and I probably can't maneuver this or move it like I did the smaller herb plants. Hmm. This is about seven inches. You're just gonna have to take my word on it. It's a little too heavy. So our pepper plant is seven inches. Remember, we're working on measuring close um, to the closest uh, inch. So if it's between, you decide, is it closer to the six? Is it closer to the seven? I think our pepper plant is closer to the seven. All right, I'm gonna actually move you for our tomato plant because it's super big. So here is our tomato plant. Let's see if I can yeah, we'll position you right here. Um, also, I wanted to show you this quick before we measure our tomato plant. Zach got a little gnome for our garden. So he likes to sit in the pepper plant. And we already know that our tomato plant is over a foot. So we're gonna go ahead and start measuring. We have 12 there. I'm using my finger as the marker. It looks like 12. I have to go in here. Being very Ooh, 12 and then 7. So quick math 7th seven, or 7th grade. Um 12 plus 7. You thinking? It's 19. So 12 inches plus 7 inches is 19 inches. So our tomato plant right now is 19 inches. But the only thing really exciting about our tomato plant isn't just that it grew so much. I have something to show you. Here, let me find it. Where are you? Oh, here it is. So there's actually a bug on it too, but if you can see, right there we have a little tomato starting. He's a little, little guy. But how exciting. Here he is. Our little first tomato of our tomato plant. That's 19 inches tall. That's crazy. Let's go record this on our graph. All right, second grade, let's get started. So day one is already done. We filled that out in the beginning of the week. We just measured for day five, so we're gonna go and fill in our data for day five. Starting with our mint plant. So our mint plant, the measurement um, that we recorded was eight inches. Wow, so there was some growth between day one and day five. How many inches did the mint plant grow? If you are saying two inches, you are absolutely correct, great job. Let's check in on our basil. Our basil was five inches tall this morning. Did it grow? It did, it grew by one inch. So, uh, so far, which one grew more? 
the mint plant, good. The mint plant grew two inches. The basil plant only grew one. But we're still excited that it was growing. Our oregano, our oregano was 10 inches tall today. So it grew from seven to 10. Now, which one of our plants grew the most? Hmm. So seven to 10 is three inches. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So our oregano plant grew three inches. So out of our mint basil and oregano, it grew the most and it's the tallest. Let's keep going. Our tomato plant was a crazy height. It was 19 inches. So that grew a lot and our pepper plant last but not least was seven inches. It's super exciting. All of our plants grew um, today. All of them um, grew at least an inch. So that's really exciting news. Um, I'm excited to check in in another five days and see like, how much they grew, if they stopped growing, if our tomato plant is still the tallest in five days. What do you think? Do you guys have any ideas? We actually aren't done, or yeah, we aren't done graphing yet because I want to explain to you the two worksheets from um, your packet and the difference between them. So there's two different graphs. And the first one, um, it's on page 12. It looks more like our graph here. And this is where you're gonna use those pictures to help you um, record your observations. So you can include your measurements in here as well. Um, so the type of seed, if you planted a plant at home, then you're gonna write the type of seed there. If not, you're going to re record the, um, whichever one of these you choose. So basil or mint, even though we didn't grow it from a seed. So day one, when we measured it, you can record your day one observations. What did it look like? Was it bigger than you thought? Was it a different color than you thought? On the tomato plant, did you see any flowers? Um, if you're doing the tomato plant. And the second graph, which we're gonna fill out, um, is every week. So every week I will keep up for the next um, five weeks with our plants and I will um, send uh, pictures or post pictures on the Google Classroom. And this is um, our weekly growth chart. So it's how much it grew. Now our tomato plant and our oregano plant are already taller than this chart. So I'm gonna fill this in and I'm gonna show you how um, I add boxes to it. All right, so let's get started with this graph now. All right, second grade. So just a reminder that these, um, these charts are about one plant. So a lot of friends wanted to do the mint plant, which is a-okay, but make sure that you're only recording the mint plant's growth. Um, so you can choose one. If you're doing one at home, then, um, that's a okay, then chart it as you go. Um, we're going to break up this chart a little bit differently. Um, so day one, the measurements from day one is going to go in the week one column. Even though it hasn't been a full week yet, the measurements for day five are going to go in week two. The measurements for day 10 are going to go in week three. And then I'm going to continue going um, every week. So um, I will post week four data and week five data. You don't, you only need day one, day five, and day 10 data in, for this chart. So I know that it's confusing that we have two different charts. Um, I'm trying to, you know, make it um, the same or trying to streamline it by breaking this up. So day one, day five, day 10, and I will continue going. Um, but after that point, you'll be done with this graph. So let's go ahead and fill it in. Um, ours only goes up to nine inches. And as we know, our oregano plant and our tomato plant are already over that. So there's a couple options. You um, can add boxes to the top like this to fill in. So this would be 10 this would be 11, this would be 12, and you're gonna have to go all the way up. Um, you could also scratch these out if you wanted and make um, the boxes two boxes. So I'm gonna show you that so that way. 
you understand what I mean. So I'm going to put a line through here because we're not using these anymore. So if you wanted to do the tomato plant, you can put lines through here and you're going to have to draw your line straight across. Um, and this is going to help you just get more boxes in. So then this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So it'd be nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So we're just short of two feet. Um, and then you can keep going up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to measure let's do the oregano plant. So I'm just gonna write oregano up here. So I know which one I'm measuring. And you're gonna shade it in. So our oregano plant on day one was seven inches. So I'm gonna use our boxes we just made and color up to seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. And now we two, um, or day five, it was 10 inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 inches. So this, by coloring it in, um, you can see the growth, right? This is how tall it was on, on week one or day five, and this is how tall it is on week two or um, day five. Did I say day five? Day one, day five. Um, I know that it looks messy, our graph does look messy, um, and you only really have to draw the lines through if your plant, if you're doing the oregano or the tomato, you might want to do it for the mint because we don't know how tall our mint's going to grow right now. It's already eight inches. Um, but this is just so that way all of our data can fit onto this one growth chart. Alrighty, let's wrap it up. Second grade, it is time to wrap it up. Um, check in with our I can statement, but before I do that, I'm worried that the graph stuff was confusing and the two different graphs going on. If you have any questions or any concerns, please call me. I am, you know, still your teacher during the day. Feel free to call me. Shoot me an email. Um, ask me questions and I will help. Um, so, give me, give me a ring. Give me a buzz. Um, so, let's check in with our I can statement. Our I can statement today was I can measure a plant and record data on a graph. I would say, check, we measured plants. Today wasn't even our first time. We measured them earlier this week. Um, we recorded data on our big graph and we've recorded data on our bar graph down here, our weekly growth chart. A lot of data going on, a lot of growing going on and a lot of measuring going on. I would say, check. Oh guys, did you notice I was wearing my growth shirt today? My, my little flower shirt, um, you know, to encourage blooming and growing. I guess. I don't know. I thought it was kind of, you know, thematic of me to wear a flower shirt on our our growing day, our measuring day. Um, I know. I know. I don't know. So anyway, second grade, have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Have so much fun. Um, happy holiday. It is Memorial Day on Monday. Um, so with that being said, and I will send out um, a news in our newsletter this weekend, but I will not be posting any videos on Monday. Um, because it is a holiday. So no school on Monday, no classes on Monday. Um, we don't have Google Meets on Monday anyway. Um, so enjoy your day, three day weekend, um, have fun, and I miss you and love you all. See ya, bye.